Hi friends, my name is Heather. Thank you for clicking on my video today. Today I'm going to be doing my regular hashtag Thursday Crafty Friends video with my friends Mrs. Gigi and Sylvia D. It's our collaboration we've been doing since last year and I will link both of their channels down below in the description box so please go check out their videos and at the same time I'm going to be doing my friend Amanda's prompt challenge her channel is called Cooking Up Crafts, and it's C-U-C -C Prompt Challenge, hashtag. So I'll have the hashtag um, in the description box and her channel linked in the description box also. So I'm trying to do everything at one time. Now, on Thursday Crafty Friends, every week we have a prompt, um, like a word or something we have to use, and this week it is buttons. So I have to use buttons today and Amanda's prompt challenge. There are four prompts. They are purple, black, embossing powder, and napkin. So that is her challenge for March. She has one, <clears throat> excuse me, she has one each month. So let's get going here. I have decided that I am going to be making a card and one of the prompts is black. So that is going to be my, my black. So we're going to have that. Let's see. I'm just going to write that on here. So we're going to have our black and then I have to use purple. That's another prompt. So I am going to be using purple buttons on this card. Let's see, so I've got some different purple ones here. There might be another one that will show up better. So there we go. So we're going to use some purple buttons. So we'll have our purple. Actually, it's supposed to be purple first, but it doesn't matter. It's all going to go on here. Purple and black. And then I have to use embossing powder. So I am going to be embossing on here. I've got a stamp already that says sweet thing. And then I have to use a napkin. So I'm going to do that also. Now, I found out from my friend Barbara, Chicken Pot Pie Society, recently that you can bond napkins to paper and then they're easier to work with. So that is what I've done. I have bonded my napkin to paper using wax paper and saran wrap and a piece of paper and iron. So I've already done that. So this was a whole napkin here, but I took it, cut it apart. And then you can see where I practiced embossing on this napkin piece because I've never done it and I wanted to make sure it worked. So I am going to be going to be using this piece of the napkin here and we're going to glue that down. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, I might, instead of using that, I might actually use my double sided tape thing. See, it's so nice when you have your napkin bonded that you can just work with it easier. All right, so oops, let's make sure my card's going the right way because I could see myself gluing it the wrong way, having it upside down or something. <laughs> so let's try not to do that. Okay, so we've got our napkin here on the paper. Okay, so napkin is, we're done. Black, we have black on here. It's our black background. Now I do have a white jelly roll pen where I can write inside. I'm actually giving this to somebody for their birthday and it's gonna say sweet thing and then um, I'll say like have a sweet birthday or something inside or you could always glue a piece of, you know, white cardstock or something in here and write on it that way if you didn't want to use white or you don't have it. So I've got my napkin uh, and then, oh, I thought about maybe using this for more pur purple, but I'm not sure. 
I guess I should have probably put it around the napkin if I was going to do it. But we can, let's see if we can try. Let's try it. Let me see if I can get this napkin to come up a little bit without messing it up. If I'm going to mess it up, we're just not going to add it. It's easier to do it under a piece that you've got, you know, on here instead of trying to wrap it around the whole card. So let's see if we can just stick this under here maybe and then tape that back down possibly. See here I go already forgetting something. Okay. Now in Amanda's prompt, she doesn't mind if you, you know, add other things. So, I mean, this is purple, so it's part of the prompts anyway, but you don't have to do just those four things. You can use some other things if you want to. All right, so let's, I want to make sure that's good and taped down here on the corner. Got it more on the napkin than I did the paper, I think. Okay, so I'll put some glue under there if I need to in a little bit. All right, so that, and then we're going to need some ribbon to a set apart to tie here. So maybe do like this. I really need that to go down and stay. Okay, please stay. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's the good thing about double-sided tape. You can kind of just rub it. If you get it in spots you didn't want to and it'll come off. Let's go ahead and get this one good and down there too. So that doesn't come up when I'm trying to tie the bow. There we go. Okay. All right, so we've got a bow. I don't know how big, maybe like that. We'll just cut off the extra. And there's a cute little bow on it. So I could glue down some parts if I wanted it to stay a certain way. I mean, see here I go getting picky again, but I'm just going to retie the bow one more time if it, see if it looks better. Maybe get it a little more straight. All right. It's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some more of that tape on here so that it'll be taped kind of in place, I think. If I can get it to tape on the napkin. I haven't really taped on a, on a tried to tape on a napkin either. So new at this bonded napkin thing. All right, now let's go ahead and put some tape here. All right. I think we need to cut this just a little bit more. All right, there we go. We've got a bow. And I, of course, will have a little picture on the thumbnail 
it could be adjusted a little bit more on that picture. Not sure if I will mess with it or not. Sometimes when I'm done with a video, I'll kind of adjust things. All right. I got to quit being so uh, picky. I think that's, I think that's fine. So here's our little card so far. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and do the embossing part. That's the most nerve wracking part to me, I think, besides the bow. <laughs> Cause I used to have embossing powder and the pad and then, um, I haven't had it for a while. And I got some new, so I'm kind of new at doing that again. I'm thinking, okay, sweet. It says sweet thing. Should we do it over here? Probably, maybe if we can. I want to be able to make sure you can see it though. Should it be I'm trying to decide where to write to put the sweet thing? I had thought about putting it down here on the pink, but I'm going to do buttons down here, maybe, or buttons somewhere. So I'm trying to see where I should put that. We'll just do it here. Now let's hope this goes well. I don't want to mess up my whole card. Okay. We've got it down. So I have like brown. I don't have a black embossing powder embossing powder <laughs> it was I thought it was black but then when I got it it's like I think it's more of a dark brown there's some blue here I could do blue I'm trying to decide here what's what color I want to do Um, I don't have a pink or I would definitely do pink, but I don't have pink. I have white, but I'm not sure how the white would turn up on here. We'll just go with the one I tried earlier to make sure. So I'm going to dump this on here. Then we'll just use this paper underneath to put it back in. All right, looks all right. Hope you all are having a wonderful day. I am actually leaving for my trip um, tonight or tomorrow morning very early. So I'm very excited. I'll be going um, through a few different states and I'm going to visit my family. So excited. And I'm also going to be going to visit my friend Judy and Clint and Aaron. So I'm very excited about that. I'll be gone nine or ten days. So super excited. Okay, let's just, I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to do this thing. <laughs> turned out okay all right now um, we've got to add the button so let me see what blue do I want to use for that oh something fell oh well <laughs> um, maybe my little this might work we'll try this and see how it goes all right, so let's see. Where do we want to put the buttons now? Because I was kind of thinking down here, but then I didn't think about the bow. So should we do them down here? Under that. 
or I could do them here on the side. Let me see, do I like it down under the bow or we could even do it over here on this, uh oh, get out of there. Or we could do it over here on this side. No, I don't like it there for sure. So I am thinking here. No, I kind of like it up here. We're going to do it up here. Sorry guys for my indecisiveness. I always think I know kind of what I'm going to do and then I am putting the tape on, trying to put the tape on the button so you can't see what I'm doing because I don't have a a lot of room to work right under here. Let me see. So we'll stick one there. I'm trying to get quite a bit of it on here so it stays. And then we'll stick one there. having issues with this thing so just a second I got it all loosened up on accident somehow I'm trying to do the button all right I've had this thing for so long I'm surprised it's not broken completely I think I've had it longer than I've had my oldest daughter <laughs> and she's 13 and a half ish Maybe more, 13, over 13 and a half. So, wait, where'd the button go? There it is. I am surprised I haven't broken it completely. It is a little bit broke, but it still works. All right, we're getting tape on there. So here we go. We got the tape on it, and then we're gonna stick it here in this little button row. All right, there we go. So let me check my paper. We've got black on the background. We've got purple buttons and a purple bow. We used embossing powder here. And the cupcake thing is my napkin. And for the Thursday Crafty Friends, we were supposed to use buttons. So I've got that on there. So I did everything in one time. It worked out. <laughs> so here's my card. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please go and check out Mrs. Gigi's channel and her video for today. Go visit Sylvia and check out her video today and her channel. And please go visit Amanda Cooking Up Crafts and check out her channel too because it's another amazing channel. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.